Yo guys, what is good? This is Anthony from Avant Samples. Today, I couldn't be more excited to be presenting one of the newest additions to Avant, Lux's Heavy Dubstep Sample Pack. I've always been a huge fan of Lux's production, and to have all of his sounds and years of experience in dubstep available to you all on Avant is truly an honor. This is honestly one of the best dubstep packs I've seen out there and will provide tons of value to any dubstep producer, whether you're new to the genre or you're a veteran. This pack also gets you access to three Fruity Loop project files from Lux. The project file Fate, which is one of Lux's Never Say Die releases, I never heard before unreleased track Alien Frequency, as well as a bonus track which is the first drop to one of his most popular releases, Another Day. The experience and value that this pack brings is honestly insane, and I can't wait to hear what you're all going to make with it. So here we are inside of FL. What I want to do first is just kind of show you guys everything that's included in the pack, uh, and then I want to get into a little bit about uh, you know how Lux recommends that you use these, uh, these samples and patches to incorporate into your own music. Um, so if we go ahead and open the Lux sample pack here, uh, let's start with the presets, which are the first thing at the top. And here you have 48 different serum patches, um, all of these being made by Lux or taken from Lux's uh, existing tracks. So you kind of have all the power from his production um, ready to go within Serum. So what I do is I just want to go ahead and open a Serum here, and I just want to start running through some of these uh, some of these presets here. So let's go ahead and start at the top. So as you guys can see here, we have the Another Day Second Drop Synth, uh, which is super useful to have. It's honestly one of my favorite Serum patches that I've heard in quite some time. Um, I'm going to be going ahead and playing everything that you hear in D, uh, which is what Lux recommended that we do with all of this sound design. Um, and most of what you guys are going to be hearing in here, um, of course, is going to be keyed, but you know it's kind of recommended to stay within that uh, the key of D. So um, I have a D note laid out here and I'm just gonna be going through some of these patches, but let's check out this another day patch first. Such a fire patch. I mean, you know, you have like a huge drop with just a few simple keys, honestly. Such a fire patch, so many different uses for this. So uh, let's just go ahead and go through some of these. What's super helpful to have here um, within these patches as well is you have a bunch of different uh, gun patches. Um, these are super uh, useful to use when you're kind of looking for that modern like machine gun style bases. Um, and a bit later, I'm going to show you how uh, you know Lux recommends that you use these, uh, but I'll show you guys these now. Super helpful to have those. Uh, let's keep going through it though. And I just want to be clear, this patch right here, this is one key press, just a D note. Super nuts. And honestly, that's just a small preview of what's in here. There's so many more that are just absolutely insane serum patches. Um, but what I want to talk about a little bit now is the three project files um, that you get access to when you purchase this pack. Uh, you get the Alien Frequency, which is an unreleased Lux um, track. Uh, you get the entire project file for that, um, as well as Another Day and Fate, which are both um, Lux's, uh, two of Lux's uh, releases, Fate being um, one of his Never Say Die releases. So it's really, really awesome to have these project files. Um, the Another Day project file is a bit of a bonus. Um, it's just the first drop. It's one of the older versions, so you can kind of see his workflow and how he'd build out a track. Um, but that first drop from Another Day is a super iconic track from Lux, so it's super cool to have those. Uh, you know, we recommend that everybody dive into those and really get an understanding of how Lux would use the sounds that you're going to be getting in your own production. You're going to learn a lot about how he would use them, process these types of serum patches, how he would use his um, his samples and uh, his own samples in his production, how you can do the same with these here. So next we have bass loops. Um, these are 15 bass loops all made by Lux. Um, I, I want to kind of just show you guys the power of them real quick. So I'm going to drag a few of these in. So I have a few different ones to check out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to layer them all here. And then what I want to do is I just want to take one of the drums here. Um, so these are straight out of the box, no processing. All I have is uh, this drum loop, which is included in the pack as well. And I want to just lay these uh, on top of them, just show you guys like the capability. This is straight up out of the box, no processing. These are just the base loops he rendered. So these are obviously, and that's, like I said, just a small preview of all of the 15 different bass loops here. But I mean, like I said, just out of the box, you have these amazing sounds. So 
so insane. And then of course you can take these and you can turn them into shots. Um, so, you know, say I wanted to take one of these sounds and just solo it to use later on. You just take this here. Um, you can do that with any of these obviously here. Yeah, so I mean, it just kind of shows you the capability. I mean, you know, you don't have to use these as loops. You know, we always recommend taking them and spice them up a little bit and, you know, making them original, making them you. But you, of course, you know, free to use these however you'd like. They are royalty free and you're free to incorporate them into your tracks, you know, however you see fit. So let's get into drum loops next. We have 32 different drum loops. All of these, um, you know, like I said, either being taken out of taken out of Lux's old tracks or made originally for you guys here. Uh, let's go ahead and preview some of them. And then you can see that he has some of these um, layered differently. So uh, this is drum loop two. You have just the tops here and then you have the kick and snare as well. So you can kind of layer them and pull different things out of them. And then what's really cool too is that you have a bunch of metal drums. Um, these are really, really cool for that kind of metal vibe uh, that a lot of people are doing within their dubstep production right now. Super organic sounding, super nice to have for those really organic, real sounding uh, metal drums. So next up, uh, we have the FX here, which are some of the most ingenuitive FX that I've seen within a pack. Um, they're really, really fresh. They're really cool and unique to that kind of Lux sound. So within this, you have five different impacts, um, 10 different FX loops, five uh, eight bar uh, risers, and five 16 bar risers. really really fresh risers you know really fresh fx it's not just that classic white noise uh you know basic risers that you're used to hearing you know these are very very unique and will add tons of depth and um a variation to your tracks uh, let's get into melodic loops here we have arps guitars and pads uh, let's check out some of these arps Uh, and next we have a bunch of guitar loops here. Um, these are all recorded by Lux um, and completely original, so it's super nice to have these natural sounding guitars. And of course you can take these out, resample them, and uh, you know make an original melody if you wanted to. And then we got some pads. So next we got some snares. Really, really solid snares. So next, uh, let's go ahead and get into the synth one shots. This is another really, really crucial part of the pack. Uh, let's go ahead and open the growls here. Uh, these are all uh, made from a lot of the patches that you hear. Um, so you can usually kind of find the correlating serum patch within these, uh, but these are obviously really, really heavy process to make them unique and separate from just the original serum presets. So you kind of have both layers, you know, you have the raw serum presets from these um, as well as the process version and how Lux would use them. And then you got some high frequency ones. And then you got some stabs here. 
And these are really, really important and helpful to use as uh, you know, the top layer of that machine gun sound. So that's everything that's included in the pack. Uh, you know, we always suggest that producers read the README and get a little bit more information about it as well. Um, you know, like I said, I mean, this, this is one of those packs that I just think is like pivotal for a producer to have within their library. Um, it's, it has everything that you need. Everything is incredibly high quality and unique. You know, it's, it's, it's not just another one of those packs that just gives you kind of more of what you already have. This is a completely unique sound. And I mean, any dubstep producer, I mean, this is going to do huge things for uh, no matter what kind of style or genre of dubstep you're producing. Um, and of course, a lot of these can be used in other genres of, as well. So it's a really, really versatile pack. And it's one of my favorites that we have on Avant so far. So now what I want to go ahead and do um, is what I've done here is let me pull this over onto my other monitor. So I have my serum linked here. What I'd like to go ahead and do is I'm gonna open the mixer track state. I've pulled this mixer track state from one of Lux's project files. Um, he's really stressed that, you know, the uh, the post-processing he does on a lot of these serum patches are really vital to them sounding really, really solid. So I just kind of want to show you guys how easy it is to, you know, learn from Lux and um, implement these same strategies on your own original music. music. So I'm gonna go ahead and open one of these uh, mixer track states here. I opened Edison. Wowzers. So what we have here, um, Sausage Fattener, uh, Parametric EQ, OTT, uh, Format Filter, Gross Beat, Fruity Reverb, and Disperser. Um, he's mentioned to me that, you know, OTT, Format Filter, Disperser, they're all, all really, really crucial to uh, that Lux sound that a lot of people look for. Um, so what I'd like to go ahead and do is throw one of the Serum presets in here. So I'm going to go ahead and use uh, Gun 5. Um, and let's go ahead and just make a really, really basic... Um, some really basic uh, notes here. Really, really basic here. Let's just go ahead and throw that pattern one in here. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and take one of these uh, drum loops. Let's take this one in here. Pretty basic, uh, but it'll definitely do the job. And then I'd like to throw another uh, serum in here. So let's just clone this. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of the bases, the sub bases from Avant Dubstep, which is another uh, dubstep pack that we have up on our site. Let's go ahead and use this one. And I'm just going to copy the same exact notes, uh, really simple. Um, and then what I can go ahead and do as well is I can just add a kickstart on the mixer. I can just add a kickstart on the mixer here, set it to halftime, and then I want it to be a little bit quicker like this. I would obviously sidechain this a lot more um, in the final track, but it'll do fine for now, uh, just this quick reference. So uh, let's just go ahead and play this out right out of the box. I mean, just like that uh, with this post-processing. So, and you guys can do the same thing. You can go in there and see what he does. Um, I can just kind of show you it with and without the uh, processing here though. So uh, that's kind of the difference that you hear. So um, I hope this is helpful. Like I said, I really can't recommend this pack enough. I mean, like I said, it's by far one of my favorite packs we have on the uh, on the Avant site. So uh, I plan on using this a ton personally, and I'm super excited to see uh, what all you guys come up with it and, uh, and how you use it. So.